All right, welcome everyone to Catalyst opening ceremony. Um, congratulations to everyone that participated this weekend. We hope you had fun, grew your design thinking skills, and were inspired by the ways that design can be leveraged to take on and solve today and tomorrow's problems. So let's take a look at some quick statistics from this past weekend. So as we mentioned in the opening ceremony, there were 118 colleges that participated in this competition along with 383 registrants across the US. There were also seven workshops um, that were hosted by some amazing speakers from ADP List and close to $2,000 in prizes. Additionally, at the end of the weekend, we found that there were 105 competitors that made it through um, and submitted their projects uh, at noon today. So, and with that, I also wanted to say another thank you to our sponsors and partners. We really wouldn't be, we wouldn't have this event without any of these organizations and companies. So big thank you again to making this happen for us. And now I'll pass it off to our judges to introduce themselves and to reveal the winners of this year's competition. Thank you, Jessica. Hello, uh, I can go first. Uh, my name is uh, Benjamin Schoen. I'm head of design at Blink UX. Uh, we're a design uh, consultancy. I work out of our Boston office. We've got offices in uh, Seattle and San Francisco, San Diego, a few other places. Um, and it's been a real pleasure uh, to work with fellow judges um, uh, to look at these uh, projects, which are really impressive. And I'll uh, pass it over to Anna to introduce herself. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Anna, a senior product designer. Currently, I'm working at TopTop, but I am, uh, yeah, I'm finding myself most comfortable working with startups. And this is what I've been doing for the last six, seven years. So I'm a solo uh, UX designer of startups usually. Uh, so I'm, I'm re really pleased to join and to review all of your projects. And you did a great job. And uh, so uh, congratulations to everyone. And um, Michael uh, wasn't able to make us make it for the, the closing ceremonies here, but he sends his regards and he was also really uh, excited and impressed by all the projects that we were able to view this afternoon. And without further ado, we've got a drum roll here, um, and I'll start off with our first winner uh, from uh, the sustainability track. We've got an honorable mention uh, for Refresh, uh, which is a project that we really loved. Um, so I was going to just give a few uh, thoughts about the project. Um, um, yeah, we, we loved the, the focus of this one. It had a really great amount of intentionality from the design perspective. Uh, one of that being location, uh, thinking of how, um, you know, farmers markets and um, uh, could could really be a, a great thing to focus on um, to give people, um, you know, what they need to be able to uh, find the, the food that um, is in season, which is the next thing. I love that that focus on time was really something that uh, myself and the other judges really like. So that focus on the seasonal foods and being able to provide users with good information we you know we we think a lot of people don't know what's in season what's out of season um and if they had that information um and and how can ux design really provide that uh so that was uh, another thing that we really loved it um from a sort of fundamental design perspective the the mobile patterns in this app were really great and it just leveraged uh, some really great contemporary um mobile uh, patterns that we thought uh, were really nice to see that both um, and some of the, you know, the basic vertical and horizontal sc scrolls, I thought were a really nice way to capture a lot of information. This app had a lot in it. Um, uh, the visual design is really nice too. Uh, we we love the way that uh, you were able to pair the serif typeface with this uh, sans serif typeface. Um, so that was a really nice uh, element in, for refresh. Um, and then one potential opportunity that we saw for what this experience um, could do next is that idea of collaboration. You know, we really liked um, the, the design and concept around uh, the shopping lists, but thought, oh, that would be a great opportunity, you know, if you um, have roommates or family, like how could you sort of have collaborative shopping lists? Um, and that seemed like a cool feature that could be explored a little bit more. So congrats to the folks that worked on Refresh uh, for, this, uh, for this award. And um, first place uh, for the sustainability track goes to Trash to Treasure. 
Uh, we absolutely love this one. This one had uh, just a ton of really great research and documentation. And so just a kudos to uh, this team and all the teams that really put in the work. You know, um, you know, it's, it's one thing to have a, a really beautiful, great prototype, but also to explain your decision making process is a huge part of, of design and design thinking and, and doing these types of projects, both at the sort of college level, but, um, you know, uh, in, in the marketplace as well, when you're a, a designer in the work the workplace being able to kind of have that research and kind of show your work and so we really loved the the deep uh research and documentation on this one um uh, just from a conceptual standpoint we love the way that it took elements of facebook marketplace and craigslist and sort of put it together in a really great uh contemporary app um i'm based in boston and if if, if you know anything about boston there's a lot of colleges here and there's this thing called alston christmas that happens uh, twice a year when all the college students are moving in or moving out and there's just like couches and tables just tons of crap all over the place um, and it's really a fun time to to get these sort of secondhand um, treasures uh, like this app has and so um, I thought about that uh, experience and how an app could really sort of um, make that really great um, so yeah we just love the the premise here of being able to uh, reuse uh, furniture um, uh, a couple other notes uh, we love the contemporary UI patterns uh, for this one, um, and we really love the way that they really lean into that mobile form factor, maybe better than any other projects that we saw, you know, it had a really great, uh, you know, idea of mapping and then sort of using distance. So being able to understand, you know, that what are those features of the mobile uh, form factor that can really um, add to the design that and then the way it used the, the camera was really great, too. So that could be all sort of included in a nice contemporary app. Um, and then uh, uh, potential opportunities for this one, uh, we thought the visual design was 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 good, but but basic, and it could really use uh, to be able uh, explored a little bit more to differentiate it from uh, other competitors in the space. Um, and yeah, it's, it seemed like you know everyone had a, a short amount of time on this project, and so I just want to call out a couple opportunities that we saw in this one, and we thought the visual design uh, could be improved. But uh, really terrific uh, project, and excited about uh, giving it the first place uh, title here. Okay, so and uh, we have our special mention and uh, want to congratulate Care Bear. So uh, it was pretty tough, uh, and we uh, we went a lot of back and forth, but we really found that this was an innovative uh, solution. So this was why it is here because. Uh, we really didn't want to go for the visual design only, but we also considered how fresh the idea is, how impact it can have. So, and we found this can bring a lot of impact and a lot of information into the place. And uh, also, it's, it was mentioned that it was a taboo subject. And this is another thing that I really wanted to mention. This is great to have such applications and approaches when we want to give a solution to some subjects that are taught. So great uh, for you that you have touched this and this is very helpful and useful. So uh, uh, as well as giving a lot of info detailed information about the space. And uh, of course you can also have your impact there, uh, but just not find what is missing and what is not. So I totally want to mention that visual was not the uh, the reason that is here, but the fresh idea and the approach and the problem that you have solved here. So congratulations. Okay, and the first prize goes to Ugo. Uh, uh, congratulations, congratulations the team and for for this successful project. Uh, and here I really want to mention that this was looking very complete. So we see a lot of straightforward steps of the UX process, and we were happy to see them all in place. So the research part, and this is not just the phrase that is saying to uh, just. Yeah, we talked to some people or we did some surveys, but you already come up with a lot of insights and they were very clear uh, why you are solving this problem and description of the problem. So great done. Uh, as well as I've seen the how might we statements, which are great to see there. And I would say this is one of the projects that 
uh, has the research part, how might we part, and, and all, the, all the cycles of the UX, and we were impressed by that, as well as we want to mention the visual part too, which is great, so it is very straightforward, it's very nice looking and fresh looking, and as well as the idea. So safety and being aware of the local crimes, being aware of, uh, of the safety. Uh, it is very important nowadays, uh, as you showed that the crimes are higher now. And I, I was afraid seeing these percentages, but yeah, I thought it was a great way uh, and a great solution uh, to treat uh, the problem that you are highlighting. So you figured out the right problem and did a great job on a solution. So congratulations again. Great. Uh, and here in um, the track was called Creative Arts. Yes, um, the honorable mention goes to Tangerine. Uh, we absolutely love Tangerine. This was uh, a really tough call between, you know, honorable mention in first place. Uh, but this app was really great. Uh, being able to do uh, sort of dribble style creative matches uh, in a mobile form factor. Uh, it seemed really fun and social and a way to connect folks. Uh, and so we really love Tangerine. Um, the visual design was really awesome. I think in general, like this team uh, really had a grasp of, of, of Figma and prototyping. And so being able to see the visual design, the interaction design, some of those core patterns all come together. Uh, it was really kind of fluid and, and, and slick. And so we really love that. Um, one part I really love uh, about all these projects with this one particular, like when, when you're brainstorming concepts, how do you sort of uh, you know, bring those to life? Uh, and there was a really nice moment here of like thinking of how an app like this, an experience like this could scale. So these creative matches when you're sort of, uh, you know, like in this example, designing a cup sleeve for an 80s, 80s themed cafe, um, this, these tiers of these matches, you could have a one day, a three day or a one week. Uh, so just, I thought that was really nice uh, kind of creative brainstorming to think of how uh, those matches could scale and um, how that sort of um, those tiers, you know, uh, show up in some of the, the mobile patterns was really nice. Um, and in general, I thought there was really good uh, guardrails of, of, of around the flow of this, being able to sort of dip in and out. Um, I thought that was really good, you know, way to sort of bring the, the design concept to life. Um, and in general, the way that it sort of extends dribble and, you know, makes dr dribble place, um, you know, that tends to be a little bit more static. How do you make that a little bit more creative and social and engaging? Being able to do these little challenges uh, seemed like a, a, a great way to do that. So, um, you know, one opportunity we thought with this project was what are those results of those matches? You know, it, it seemed like there was a, a, a good brainstorm on the, the premise and sort of the onboarding and sort of uh, setting up those, those matches, but uh, really curious on, you know, does someone win? Does someone lose? Do you sort of, you know, go on into tournaments or I don't know, like, you know, the, the concept is so cool that we started to think of what are those next steps, those opportunities for, um, you know, how we, having those matches, you know, uh, live, live a little bit deeper. And so, yeah, really excited about Tangerine as an honorable mention here for the Creative Arts track. And uh, the winner for this one uh, was Marker. Uh, we really love this one for the Creative Arts track. And, um, you know, this one jumped out for a, a number of reasons. Um, I thought this one had some really good, you know, thought process and documentation and research as well. Uh, it had a good focus on inclusivity, uh, where I, we love Tangerine. It felt like it was more like a, 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 a pro app, or like, you know, really kind of uh, professional creatives. Whereas this one, I thought, uh, had a, a similar sort of challenge uh, creative challenge kind of scope to it, but it was really inclusive as, you know, it felt like it could be um, an app that would work for people of all, all, all walks of life. And so that was uh, really fun to see that sort of inclusive approach uh, to uh, the, the overall creative arts prompt. Um, uh, this one also had some really good documentation. I love mood boards and I, it was great to see that was called out in the documentation around the team doing some mood boarding uh, this, this weekend to uh, understand the visual design. Um, and then uh, we love the premise of it being timely and timely in a few ways, the way that it like sort of uh, was capturing sort of that uh, essence and that excitement of Wordle and CoStar and some of these other contemporary apps and uh, sort of kind of piggybacking off that I thought was nice and timely. 
Uh, and then the other part of it's a daily uh, challenge. So thinking of what are what are your time constraints and thinking of that daily time constraint as a as a great way to have these fun ephemeral uh, challenges. It really sort of builds that iterative creative muscle. Uh, and so I thought this was really fun in that way. It was light, fun, iterative, inclusive, um, and it seemed really cool. So we really love this one. The visual design I thought was nice and, and um, you know, had some good feeling to it. Um, and then, you know, some of the opportunities that we thought, uh, you know, what makes it sticky? What makes it sort of like Wordle, you know, like, uh, you know, that sort of scale and, and um, broad appeal. So um, we were just kind of curious about that sort of uh, what could really make it uh, stand out in the marketplace. Um, and then uh, also, what does it look like beyond mobile, knowing that if, if you have that uh, inclusive approach, you might be looking at people that are on desktops or laptops or, or tablets. Um, and I thought that would be really interesting to see how this one extends and, and maybe dovetails with, you know, a larger uh, device. Um, so, yeah, really excited about uh, Marker for first place in the Creative Arts track. All right, thank you so much, judges. Um, so now to wrap up, you can all find these projects on our Dev Post Gallery. They'll be posted very shortly after this, so you guys can check those prototypes out. Um, for next steps, winners, you'll all be receiving an email. So um, keep an eye out from uh, an email from us. So keep an eye out um, so that we can make sure that you get your prizes. Um, for everyone that submitted a project, keep an eye on our email so that we can also collect your mailing addresses to get some swags so with t-shirts and things like that. Um, and for everyone that attended, if you have any feedback or questions, we'd love to hear from you. So please fill out this form linked here um, so that we can hear any comments or questions or recommendations so we can better this competition for the next year. Um, thank you all again for attending Catalyst this weekend. All of the project submissions were incredible and unique. And if you are passionate about your project or what you are doing with this project this um, weekend, we encourage you to check out any of the entrepreneurship resources at your college and kind of build that further. Um, but yeah, thank you again. Stay tuned for Calis 2023. Um, and we look forward to seeing you again. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.